Welcome back to part two of our substrate chat. This is the 50-50 with a tablespoon of gypsum. So just to recap what we did, part one, you saw me getting all set up. And we brought one brick of cocoa to fill the capacity. And then I added one tablespoon of gypsum. You can see my burner is on here, medium heat. I have a really big pot. It was one brick and a half a bag of vermiculite. I have a lot of experience with this recipe. I do it by eye. <laughs> I, I know exactly what goes in to our recipe for how much we are growing. And this is what it looks like. I'll be stirring, stirring, stirring until it reaches 140 degrees of pasteurization. So once it reaches 140 degrees, I'm going to stir, 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 pop the top on, turn the burner off and leave it overnight to cool. Then we'll put it into a sterilized pillowcase that we only use for growing mushrooms. We will strain out the water. And then we will add it to our tubs and then we will birth our colonized jars into the substrate. And so we're looking for 140 degrees here. I will continue to stir, stir, stir. So nothing is cooking on the bottom. And then again, once we hit, hit 140 degrees, pop the top on, let it cool overnight. You don't have to allow it to cool overnight. That's just what we do and then it's ready. You can actually store your substrate for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, in a tub with a top. So again, if you see a video of somebody's substrate and you think maybe there's too much moisture or water, maybe they're not using it quite yet, or maybe the type of mushroom they're growing requires that much water. Again, your environment where you live if, if you're a home mycologist, you're growing mushrooms from, from home, your temperature, your environment, even the, the air quality all matters when growing mushrooms. Also, your substrate might not look like my substrate. Your vermiculite might be a finer powder. It might be thicker. It's okay. Your cocoa might look a little bit different than mine, and that's okay as well. So from here, again, 140 degrees, pop the top on, turn off the burner, let it cool overnight. Then we're going to strain it in the pillowcase, put it in our tubs, berth our colonized jars, and we're ready to go. Super simple, super easy. So I invite you to keep it simple for yourself. Kiss yourself. Keep it simple. Life is a choice. All these different techniques are a choice. And I'm so glad that you're here as we just simply share what works for us. I'll see you in the next video.